All right, this is a handy script that lets you select which domain to run your scripts on. So we can see I have a staging domain here and I'm gonna open that and we see staging script has run. And if I come back and open up the live domain here, we get production script has run. So this is great if you wanna iterate on code without touching the code that already exists on your live site and you wanna reduce the risk of publishing like working code to production. Hey there, web bay. Let's have a quick look at what's going on here. So I just have an H1 with a text span, and then I've given that text span an ID of script number. Super simple stuff here in Webflow. If we come over to Code Sandbox, I have two files. I have script staging.js and script production.js. Both of these are doing the same thing, but they're setting the script number text content to staging or production based on what is selected. So you can see we're using the query selector method up here, looking for that ID of script number, storing the result in a variable called script number, and then setting the text content to staging for our staging script. And we're setting it to production for our production script. So let's hop into the page settings of what I have here. I'm gonna click the gear icon and come down to the before closing body tag. And we're gonna zoom in on this script here. So the very first thing we're doing is we're getting the current domain by using this window.location.hostname property. And we're storing that in this variable. Next, we're using the documents create element function and we're passing a parameter, this case a string called script, and we're storing that in a variable called script. So this is essentially a DOM element that is a script element, and we're gonna tell it what JavaScript to put inside of there. Now we're using current domain dot index of, index of is a string operator, and we can then say, hey, look for the string webflow.io. And the index of method will return negative one if it doesn't find the specified string here. So then we can see, hey, if it doesn't equal negative one, then run this logic, otherwise run this logic. And now we know that this logic will then return the staging domain because it has webflow.io in the domain. And what we'll do there is we'll just set this script source attribute to our staging script right here. Otherwise, we know that we're in the live domain, so we'll take this source attribute and set it to our production script right here. The very last thing we're going to do is append to the body that script element that we had. And that's all we have to do. If we publish this, we'll get that behavior that we're looking for. So again, on the staging script, we have staging script has run. And if we go to the production script, we see production script has run. With this script here, you could have your script hosted on JS Deliver or NPM and your version here, you know, say you're working, you've got version 1.0 published, but now you're working on version 1.1. And while you're working on version 1.1, you want to switch this to the local host or wherever you do your development. So that's kind of how I use this script in my workflow. And hopefully it helps you in yours as well.